I'm Tommy Anthony, and I will be repeating against their claim that the SAT should be indeed still be administered. Uh, so they claim that the SAT is unfair. The SAT test is, is pre-questioned knowledge gained in high school by the collegeboard.org, the organization that administers the SAT says the SAT doesn't test logic or abstract reasoning. It tests the skills you are learning in school, reading, writing, and math. The knowledge and skills in these subjects are important for the success in college throughout your life. The SAT is not racially biased. The SAT takes into account those whose best language is not English and calculates the first year GPA differently to those best language best language is English. And this is also given by a college board. So with that saying is it takes into account those who are to who he claims white. And another point given would be that students can still attend college without the SAT through Santa Monica College. Uh, transferred the most students to a UC or Cal State. Eighty-five percent of junior transfers of all students in uh, community colleges were accepted into UCs from Cal State. Were accepted into UCs from Cal, uh, California Community Colleges. A chart they also provide um, shows that fifty-nine thousand three hundred eighty students in the year two thousand twelve to two thousand thirteen were able to get into UCs or Cal State. And this is given by uh, smc.edu student transfers. I also would like to address the point that he gives no evidence in the cultural bias that reality TV that has no correlation to SAT questions or knowledge that MTV is not a way to study for the SAT. Uh, another point I'd like to make would be, what if the, what would happen if there was no SAT? If any student could attend to a four-year college, for example, Harvard, UCLA, Cal Poly Pomona, that social discrimination would occur. Peter Norman, University of Wisconsin Madison, uh, his study um, statistical discrimination and efficiency states that models of models of discrimination are often used to explain group inequality. If workers are forward-looking and improving productivity by human capital investments, then groups that are identical in everything except some observable irrelevant groups identity may be treated differently in equilibrium. In the simplest models of discrimination, this is explained as a self-confirming prophecy. Minority workers are unsuccessful because firms believe that they will likely have low skill sets, and minority workers invest less in human capital since they believe that they will be at a disadvantage in the labor market. This means already admitted students with previous credentials to attend that certain college would treat the new students differently because they are considered to have a lower skill set in which segregation would follow due to the difference factor affecting that equilibrium. An alternative to also getting into college is the ACT. The ACT is an exam used by college admissions just like the SAT it is an achievement test measuring what a student has learned in school. College Board also shows data by a study they did in March 2005. With an additional writing section and minor changes to the conduct, in fall 2006, colleges and universities across the U.S. provide first-year sample data, final sample, included 151,316 students attending 110 colleges across the U.S. 
Mm. On average, the sample for this study performed better on the SAT around 60 points higher per section and had a higher mean high school GPA around 0.3 higher than this, the 2000 college board seniors cohorts. So those that were in the sample did better than the students in the, like, in the future that took the, the, um, the SAT. Thank you for your time, and I hope you see why the SAT should still be administered.